This book is dedicated to my grandparents who are gone now. My grandfather died in 2002 before I started writing poetry. But my grandmother was a ready and willing listener anytime I wanted to read something to her. She never could get used to the lack of rhyme, though. <laughs> her response was the same every single time. I'm sorry, but I don't think that's a poem at all. <laughs> Granted, she did have dementia during her last year, so she would forget what I told her about narrative verse and free verse and um, sadly, the kind of dementia where she forgot even some of the distant past. This one is for her. Now or then. Grandma, just shy of 91, thinks she is 12 again, or maybe 20, asks for the hundredth time, have you seen my folks? I'm worried sick. I haven't heard from them all day. Long dead when I was born, they live in black and white photographs, her stories. Back when she remembered, she would tell about camping, how they'd drive the Packard on gravel roads from San Francisco to Monterey, Big Sur, one time up to Canada, how her mother sewed their sleeping bags with sand dollar sized buttons along the edge how her daddy tied his shaving mirror to a tree. They slept in a canvas tent, stored meat in a basket lined with asbestos and tin, used milk, used milk bottles to hold water. They're fine, I tell her, they're all right. Her hand feels soft in mine, her skin papery and thin. My grandma knows a world without zippers, nylon, the atomic bomb. If you ask her what today is, she says, well, yesterday it was tomorrow.